Hey everyone, Kyle here with Poseidon's Pets. I wanted to give a quick update on my aquaponics system. This isn't going to be a very long video, so just wanted to dive right into it and show you what has been happening with the aquaponics system. So I have been testing the water for the last two weeks and have noticed a significant drop in nitrates. So normally because of my tap water, my nitrates are anywhere from 20 to 40 parts per million every time I do a water test. So lately they've been in the five to 10 parts per million or the 10 to 20 parts per million range. So adding those pothos cuttings to the sump tank has significantly reduced my nitrates. And you know, with a big fish like Oscars, that's definitely an issue that you run into often is having high nitrates. So finding a system that is going to help cut out those nitrates without having to use any harsh chemicals or upping my filtration has been something that definitely interested me a lot. I have done a few aquaponic setups in the past and haven't really seen any good results. So it's really awesome to be able to see the data for myself and be able to remove those nitrates without adding anything like nitrate remover or nitrate removal media. So it's definitely really interesting and I've been super excited to be able to see that my nitrate levels have dropped. So uh, I also did a little bit of an update to the aquaponics. So instead of having the light diffuser that I have going across the whole sump, I've cut it down just a little bit. So that way it's a little bit easier to move around and change my filter media as well as I've added a piece of styrofoam that is blocking some of the light. I was getting too much algae growth in my sump and you know, having more algae is gonna help remove those nitrates, so it's not a bad thing, it just, it's unsightly. I didn't wanna have that issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have done and how I have updated the system. And hi, Sere, say hi, Sere. That's my dog, Sere. So yeah, I wanna jump in and go ahead and show you guys what I have done as far as the aquaponics system and what I've done to update it. And you can see Indy Fish. Oh, look at him get tough. Oh, get swole, bro. Show him how tough you are. <laughs> so as you can see in here, I've added this styrofoam piece just to cut down on some of that algae growth. You can actually see all of the new growth that is on those pothos. So they've been really taken off in this system. And I've been <laughs> really excited to see how much of that growth that has really been on there. And you can see, like even trying to pull this out of the tank, the roots have grown so much into that water down there in the sump that it's, it's crazy how much they've grown. So it's been really exciting watching those pothos grow, watching the roots grow. It's, it's nice because that sump is, is super clear. So I can actually watch the roots grow as they're getting bigger. I'm a big plant nerd myself, so as far as growing vegetables and growing your own food, that's definitely been something that I love to do myself. I know you can't eat pothos, but watching the plant thrive in just fish water, it's been really interesting to me, and I love that my fish itself can actually benefit from having this living organism just thriving off the fish water. So it's been really interesting to watch the roots grow, watch the new growth on the plant, so it's, I've had a lot of fun with this setup. I know it's very basic when it comes to aquaponics. There's a lot more details to it when you get into aquaponics. But for me and my fish tank and just solving the nitrate problem, this has been big help. So I'm excited to see where this goes. I know it's only been two weeks, so it's definitely going to go up from here. And I'm hoping to, at one point, be able to have those plants big enough that they're gonna take all the nitrates out of that water. So I'm um, glad you guys are here for this. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you could do me a huge favor, go ahead and like and subscribe to my videos. I've been posting a lot of content lately, so you're definitely gonna get a lot of updates from me as far as Indy's tank, the aquaponics system, and a lot of new beginner videos. 
I've noticed there's a lot of people who are getting into the hobby that need some help up so they're not making those mistakes that we all made when we first started getting into fish keeping. So I wanted to create a lot of uh, beginner videos that kind of show the basics that people can learn from all the mistakes that we as people who have been in this industry for a long time have made. So once again, thanks for watching. Go ahead and like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day.